Hello everyone. Today I have an exciting tutorial for you. I will walk you through how to use the Illustrate AI Image Generator, an amazing tool from designbundles.net. Alright, before we dive in, let's take a moment to look at some examples of what you can achieve using this tool. Is it capable of creating photorealistic images and all kinds of illustrations, such as watercolor, digital paintings, line art, 3D rendered images, and many more, all from just using a text called the prompt. As you can see on the left, I provided the prompt I used and also the art style I have selected. Feel free to hit the pause button and take a closer look at both the images and the specific prompts I used. Illustrate AI makes it incredibly easy to generate detailed and visually stunning images. All it needs is just a few well-chosen words. There's no longer any need to use grand terms such as masterpiece in your quest for impressive images. Illustrate AI is available on the designbundles.net website, and those who have the Plus Unlimited plan can generate images without credits and download an unlimited number of images from the library. This includes the ones created with AI, plus the graphics and illustrations transferred from designer shops that have joined or will join the partner program in the future. To access it, click on Plus Products, then choose Illustrate AI. On the Membership Details button, you can check your plan and what is included with each plan. As you can see, with Plus Unlimited, I have access to more than just AI. There are additional benefits and features available. Where it says Prompt, you add the text with a description of what you want to see. The first words are more important, so put your subject details at the beginning and less important information towards the end. Be as clear as possible. And keep in mind that it is not very good at counting, including people, fingers. After you have a prompt, you select the art style you want, and then choose how many images you want to generate at once. The minimum is 1, and the maximum is 4. For the size, you can select square, landscape, or portrait. Additionally, there are options for a negative prompt and more advanced settings like engine, steps, sampler, scale, and seed. However, you don't have to worry about those right now, and I will explain them later along with what they do. When you are ready, hit the Create button and wait a minute for the images to be generated. Once they are generated, you have two options, View Larger and Publish and Upscale for those that look good and can be used. Don't expect everything to be perfect. The AI has advanced a lot in the last month but still needs more work to be perfect. So, for those with just a few mistakes, they can be corrected in Photoshop. And for those with a lot of mistakes, it's easier to generate another image. I like the top left cat, and I will hit publish on that one. Then, you wait until the blue button name publishing changes to the green button called published. Once it is published, you can find the green download button and download it to your computer. If it has any tiny mistakes, you can correct them in Photoshop using the Spot Healing Brush tool or similar tools. If you click on AI Library, you can open the library page with all the AI images generated by you and other designers. You can use the search function and sort the images by the art style used. By default, they are sorted by most popular, but if you select newest, you can find new designs including the one you generated a few minutes ago, like the cat I just created. You can open the image, download it, you can download your own images or other people's images, and also use the Remix button. The Remix button essentially opens Illustrate AI with the prompt of that image, so you can create variations of it. You can simply push the Create button, and it will give you a random generation of that prompt since there are 4 billion possible variations for each single prompt. Alternatively, you can change the cat to a bunny, for example, and you will get the same style but a different character. Let's test each art style to demonstrate what it does. This is the default art style, and it varies depending on the prompt. The 3D model art style aims to recreate a 3D render appearance by replicating the look of three-dimensional objects in a two-dimensional space, thus creating an illusion of depth and volume. Analog film art style reflects the aesthetic of traditional film photography with characteristic grain, color tones, 
and sometimes light leaks or other imperfections. Anime art style imitates the distinct visual style of Japanese animation, featuring exaggerated physical features and vibrant colors. Cinematic art style reproduces the visuals of a film scene, emphasizing atmospheric lighting, color grading, and composition for a dramatic effect. Comic book art styles emulates the sequential, narrative-driven visuals found in comic books, with bold outlines, vibrant colors, and dynamic scenes. The digital art style is a fantastic choice for crafting various digital illustrations, including digital paintings, watercolors, vector art, stickers, and more. Fantasy art style brings to life mythical creatures, magical landscapes, and elements typically associated with fantasy genres. Isometric art style generate images drawn from an isometric perspective, offering a pseudo-3D effect with equally foreshortened dimensions. The line art style produces images made from lines and typically does not include shading or coloring. This results in simple and expressive visuals with a minimalist touch, making it well-suited for coloring pages. Low poly captures the style of 3D models composed of a limited number of polygons, delivering stylized and geometric visual forms. Modeling compound simulates the look of pieces made with malleable materials, such as clay or plastiline, yielding visuals that appear tactile and handcrafted. Neon punk art style combines cyberpunk themes with bright, neon colors, often illustrating futuristic and dystopian scenes. Origami imitates the look of folded paper art, creating visuals that appear geometric, precise, and crafted from paper. Photographic art styles capture the essence of traditional photography through their visual aesthetics and lighting effects. Pixel art style utilizes small, square-shaped pixels to create images reminiscent of vintage video game graphics. Tile texture art style produces patterns resembling seamless designs, commonly used to create consistent backgrounds or textures. Enhance art style can enhance the generated images, such as adjusting colors, sharpness, or other visual elements. Image count lets you choose how many images you want to generate. Choosing one will generate only one image, selecting two will generate two images, and so on. Size ratio. Landscape with ratio 3 to 2 it will generate a 1216 by 832 pixel PNG image then after upscaling it will produce a 4864 by 3328 pixel image. Square ratio 1 to 1 it will generate an upscaled 4096 by 4096 pixel image. Portrait with 2 colon 3 it will generate a 3328 by 4864 pixel PNG image after upscaling. Negative prompt. Let's assume we generated a plate of spaghetti and the AI added basil leaves on top, but we want to exclude that in our next generation. To achieve this, we include the words of what we don't want in the negative prompt. I added basil and leaves to negative prompt, and as you can see, the basil leaves are now gone. Here is another example. We generated a rose, and while most of the roses will be red, let's say we don't want that. I added the word red to the negative prompt, and now the rose is missing the color red. Negative prompts don't always work perfectly, but they can be very useful. A seed is a number that acts like a special instruction or secret code for the AI. It's like the first step on a journey, telling the AI how to start creating a unique picture or pattern. This seed can be any number within a certain range, just like how a secret code can be any combination of numbers. The seed value should be between 0 and 429, 496, 7295. By default, it is blank, and you can see the text. Leave blank for a random seed. If you input a seed number and hit create, you will generate the same image each time. So, why would you want to generate the same image, and how is the seed useful then? Well, if you use the same seed but change the prompt, it will give you an image similar to the previous one. It's like a subtle variation depending on how much you change the prompt. I use the prompt, portrait of Irish girl, an oak forest in the background, digital painting. But let's say I don't like the oak forest, and I want a pine one instead. Since I started with a custom seed number, in this case, 5006, we can now keep a similar girl and get a pine tree in the background using the prompt. Portrait of Irish girl, a pine forest in the background, digital painting. As you can see, we have a similar girl with just a different background. Pretty cool, isn't it? If you click on the advanced option, you can find the seed field where you can input the number. 
As you can see, if you enter a number larger than approximately 4 billion, you will get an error message indicating the minimum and maximum seed values. Let's add a smaller seed number and see what illustration we can get. Now, let's use the same seed to get a variation of this image. We can add another word to the prompt, but we can also modify the scale. From experience, if scale is somewhere between 5 to 12, the images look okay. The scale is like telling AI how closely to follow what we put in the prompt. Bigger values, like using scale 10, follow the prompt more strictly and may add a little more contrast and saturation sometimes. On the other hand, a smaller number like 5 gives AI more freedom to not follow the prompt as precisely. Steps. Refer to the individual iterations or rounds of denoising that the diffusion process performs on the initially noisy image. Each step progressively refines the image, reducing the noise and moving closer to the final, clear output. The default seed number, 50, works pretty well. If you use a fixed seed number, you can adjust the steps to get a slight variation of the image or you can modify the prompt. So, if you have a seed with a generation that you like, the steps and scale allow you to get subtle variations in the image. If you don't know what prompts to try, just go to the library and find an image that you like the style of. Then, hit the Remix button to copy that prompt to Illustrate AI. From there, you can adjust the settings and hit Create a few times to get images in the same style. Keep in mind that each prompt can generate over 4 billion different images. So depending on the seed, some will be more similar, while others will be more different than the original image. Took me a whole day to create this video. If you enjoy this type of tutorial and want to support me, please hit the like button, share, and subscribe. Thank you, and see you in the next video.